Welcome to our Kingdom Devotion. Today's passage is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 6 to 18, which is the concluding passage of the Apostle Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. In this passage, Paul is warning the believers in the church against idleness because they were Christians who were irresponsible and refused to work. Instead of earning their own living, these people became busy bodies and did not live according to Paul's teaching. Paul reminded the Thessalonians of his own example of working hard and exalted the Christian there in verse 13 to be never tired of doing what is good. As a final word, Paul ended this passage with a very powerful prayer that impacted me deeply. Reading from verse 16, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all. Confronted with the persecution of the Thessalonian church, battling with false teaching and unruly behavior of some church members, Paul said a final prayer for peace. Why? What's so special about this peace? I believe that one of the deepest longing of the human heart is for peace. A peace that is not external, but an inner tranquility in a problematic and hurting world. Many people are looking for this peace, but cannot find it because they are looking in the wrong place. The Bible teaches that there are two aspects of peace. Peace with God and peace of God. Because of our sins, we were separated from God and were hostile to Him. Because of God's great love, Christ died on the cross to take away the punishment of sins. Not only did Christ restore our peace with God, He also gave us the peace of God. That is why Paul attributes the source of this divine peace in his prayer in verse 16 to the Lord of peace. And he prayed for the presence of the Lord to be with his people. Clearly, we cannot separate the peace of God from his presence. How did Paul describe the peace of God? It is a peace that remains at all time and is available in every situation. Indeed, the peace of God cannot be constrained by time, location, or circumstances. In other words, it is a peace that is constant, unbroken, and perpetual. It is a peace that prevails over disasters, calamities, and conflicts. It is a peace that we can count on in times of sorrow, defeat, and uncertainty. Dear friends, it is true that we are living in an unprecedented time with unprecedented conflicts and uncertainties. However, Jesus has already given us his perfect peace, a peace that passes all understanding a peace that cannot be taken away from us. A peace that has its foundation in trusting, obeying, and knowing Him. Our outward life may be disturbed, but our inner life cannot and will not be perturbed. May the peace of God be with you all. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you for the peace with God through Jesus' finished work of redemption. We praise you for the peace of God that remains in us in all time and in every situation. We ask that the peace of God will rule in our hearts in this unprecedented time so that we may be still in your presence and discern your will and walk in your purposes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember to join our Kingdom Devotion tomorrow. Have a good day.